Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming. I'm playing another one of my childhood favorites today. Roller Coaster Tycoon, the first, the original, the classic. The smash hit of the 90s. Does this game even really need an introduction? I mean, if you grew up in the 90s or even a little bit after, how could you have missed this game? It was so darn good. A dang well near flawless tycoon game. Definitely a huge hit when it first released and for many years to come. Uh, it actually is one of the games that I have seen occasionally requested, not the later versions, the original. And who really can blame them, because it really is that good of a game. And in this particular version available on Steam, the classic version, I don't know if they revamped the graphics. Either they are better than I thought they would be, and I just kind of had low expectations because it's an early uh, late 90s game, or they've revamped it a little bit, but either way, it looks pretty good and it seems pretty familiar. Let's go ahead and start up a new park and have some fun. Now this is new. Graphite Group, Emerald Group, Ruby, Sapphire, Amethyst, Coral, Ivory. What are all these? Oh my god, are all these all levels? Holy heck, there's so many levels available right now. Jeez, I need to play some of this. There's also more park scenarios, including some real parks, like Six Flags in Belgium or Holland, the Magic Mountain. You can also build your own versions of them, and so on and so forth. I don't know what Panda World is. But, uh, I mean, it sure sounds pretty cool. I don't know, I have no idea how many more um, uh, realistic parks have been added into the game, or if you can get more off of the Steam Workshop, but either way, that's a pretty nice feature. Alright, let's go ahead and start in, uh, let's say, the Ruby Group. Um, Haunted Harbor, Electric Fields, Millennium Mines... I seem to remember something very similar to Millennium Mines when I was a kid. And I do remember liking this one. It's a little bit easier out of the bunch in the Ruby Group, but rather than, you know... I mean, think it's, it's not as easy as starting in Graphite, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and try Millennium Mines and see how we fare. The first roller coaster with 10 inversions was Colossus at Thorpe Park in England in 2002. Really? I had no idea. Okay, so how does this work then? Whoa! Okay, the controls have been revamped a little bit to be more sensitive, it would appear. We do start off with one ride here, uh, the Mine Tour Train. Now this is one of those early versions of the game where they didn't actually give you like a camera. That you could watch the rides them yourself. That was a later thing. That was something that was like really cool when Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 came out. But, uh, in this game, nah, that was not a possibility. It's all top-down, very classic, very retro. And as you might expect, we're just gonna go ahead and create a bunch of rides, get some pathing into them, and, uh, yeah, just create a thriving fe theme park, if we can. Let's see, transport rides, gentle rides, roller coasters, thrill rides, water rides, shops and stalls, and then research and development. Gosh, it has been so dang long since I played this, I gotta remember how it all works. If we wanted to place, let's say, a mine train coaster, like, could I actually do something like that? Look at this! Calamity Mine from Six Flags! They've definitely updated this game a fair bit. It still looks like the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. But uh, it's uh, definitely got some new content in it, which is pretty awesome. Gold Rush, I recognize. Manic Miner, Runaway Mine Train. All these sound kind of fun. What would happen? I can't afford that one. All right. What if we did... Nope, these are all too expensive. I can't afford any roller coasters like this at the moment. We could go for something cheap like a Junior Coaster or a Wooden Wild Mine Coaster. Mini Miner? Okay, can you go away, please? I mean, you're, you're great and all, but you're getting in my way. 4000 or so dollars. Okay, roller coasters are definitely how you make the majority of your money in this game, so you do want to use them if you have the cash available at the time. Uh, we could place it... It's kind of hard to tell exactly where the entrance is. I think that's what the arrow is supposed to represent. Can I rotate you around a couple times and confirm? Yes, I think... Hmm... We can find a better location for it. What if I rotate it around like this? This seems kind of promising, don't you think? I think so. All right, we're going to place down our roller coaster. Boom! That's what we wanted, right? Okay, now where is the entrance? Uh, rotate. There it is. No, wait, is that? Yes? That is it. Okay, we found the entrance. Fantastic. Now we just need to actually connect this up to the park somehow. Should be able to rotate these paths around, kind of like this. Yeah, I remember how this works. Gee whiz, it has been such a long time. I'm actually kind of geeking out a little bit just playing this again. This is... Wow, this brings back some serious memories. I definitely invested a few hundred hours into this game back in the day. Now, where's the exit? It's a little hard to see. Mm, exit. Exit. I'm sure it's over here somewhere, right? Okay, if I click on this... 
I can set you to be open, yes? Uh, and right now, let's see, are we charging admission to the park, or... How is this working? Four dollars for admission, do we also have a precedent for charging for every ride? No! Admission price is currently free. Well, that means I'm gonna go ahead and raise the admission price. Eight bucks to ride the coaster and also some random train. Have fun, guys! Roller coasters absolutely attract the most people. Here they all come, and they're silly little sprites. They all they all look exactly the same. They're all clones of each other in different shirts. They're all men, too, by the way. Don't know why. Um, recent thoughts. People aren't actually going on the ride. Why not? What's the problem here, buddy? Mine tour train was great. But you didn't go on it. I'm not going on it while it's raining. Oh, okay. So, this is the problem. Everyone's upset because it is raining. Well, if I do recall, and I probably do, we should be able to get like an information kiosk or something. Fries, a restroom. Uh, if we could research it, there is a way to sell umbrellas, which does make people a lot happier. Uh, in the meantime, though, we probably should go ahead and place, let's say, a basic restroom, and we will not charge anybody to go inside of that. That just seems mean-spirited, don't you think? And then we'll also go ahead and get like a fry shop. Something basic. It doesn't actually have much value to me, but, you know, anything to keep people fed so they stay in my park longer. Really, concessions are where the money's at when you think about it. Okay, so it's not raining anymore. People, are you getting onto my roller coaster? It appears, yes indeed they are. Okay, four people currently on the ride. Admission is free, nothing I can do about that, but that's fine. So this is going to greatly increase happiness. It's also going to attract a lot more people to park. And which means we should get a lot more money from admissions, uh, hopefully, gradually. But we still need a few more things in order to uh, diversify and appeal to a different audience. Drink stall is now available. Well, that will certainly be helpful. Uh, we'll go ahead and place one right here, I guess, and say that that is open. Uh, a buck twenty for a drink in a theme park? Are you insane? That is never an option. A buck fifty for fries? If it's anything less than six dollars, I'll be amazed. Let's place a haunted house. It's a gentle ride, so it probably will appeal to a different type of people. Uh, not very adrenaline hungry. But, at the same time, it's an easy way to kind of boost my numbers, make people want to come to the park. You know, basic stuff. Play something like that. It's also relatively cheap to do. We will place down an entrance right here. Need to rotate around. Is there a hotkey for this? Q? No? 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 Okay, I have no idea if there is a hotkey. Maybe there is. Um, go ahead and have an exit right there, I guess. Is there some way to change the appearance of these? I think there is. Um, plain entrance. Replace with wooden entrance? Yes. That's far more thematic. Also play horror-style theme music. Yes, also good. Okay, now we need to place down some pathing. The queuing, of course, very important. Gotta make sure that people have enough space to actually get into the ride. Uh, I want them all to queue up. This is actually probably fine as it is. And then let's just go around this way. Perfect. All right, everyone. Get into the haunted house. It's spooky scary. Um, also, we should probably have some music playing on here for the sake of theme, right? Yeah, play music Wild West style. What else we got? Rock, horror, toyland, candy. Seems like Wild West makes the most sense. Can I hear it? I don't hear any music. Wait a minute. Is there like an option? Uh... Wait, escape doesn't actually open the options menu. What? What is this? Um, no, not adjust lands. Wait, how do you leave the game once you start playing it? Oh no, I have no idea how. By the way, enter is rotate, apparently. I just figured that out. Sweet. The haunted house is definitely not attracting a whole bunch of people, but, uh... Well, eh, gentle rides don't always appeal to everyone. The good news is, regardless of whether people go on it or not, I'm gonna raise the price of admissions. You don't have to go on the rides, all you have to know is that I have a whopping three rides. Sure, you'll only go on one, but I'm gonna make you pay for three. Let's also go ahead and place down one of these, uh, twist rides. Scrambler, or whatever it's supposed to be. I have no idea. Music, we will play gentle style. Nah, we're gonna go for ragtime. That seems appropriate for a Wild Westy kind of theme. Uh, for our entrance, we will have, again, the wooden and the colors. Red and white are probably okay, but we'll make it, uh, red and black instead to match with the trains. Yeah, that works, I-I guess. I wish I could hear the music, though. Uh, I just have no idea how to do it. 
All right, let's go ahead and hook all that up. Um, how do I delete the footpath so that people can access? Nifty. All right, let's go ahead and open this for business. Now, we do need to hire some staff. We will hire a handyman to clean the park and a mechanic to make sure that everything is running nice and smoothly. Yes, I think so. And also raise the price of admissions again, because why not? Oh, if you hit the pause button, then you can see options and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's not like it really gives you many options, though, does it? I can't even... I, there's, no, there's no options to improve the sound? I can't hear more music? Man, this really is an old game, isn't it? My park has been awarded the safest park in the country. Granted, it's a very young park... So, it can't have actually hurt very many people yet, it's only a matter of time, but at least until then... Yeah, we're super duper safe, guys! That's awesome. I mean, really, that should be our marketing slogan, right? Come to... what was our parks called, after all, anyway? Uh, Millennium Mines! Come to Millennium Mines, the park where you are the least likely to die! We could start doing a marketing campaign if we wanted to. Vouchers for half price, free food and drink, no point in doing free entry to the park. That'd be one thing if we were also charging for all of our rides, but since that's not an option, that would just mean I get no money, which is terrible. We'd have to rely on concessions. Now, we could, however, do a $50 per week vouchers for free fries and a drink if you come here. All right, we'll do it for four weeks. Um, specifically for the, the, the drinks. Yes, start the marketing campaign. Spend 12 bucks to get into the park, and we'll give you a free can of soda. Hey, it's working. Our number of guests are going up. All you suckers, all I had to do was give you a buck twenty soda that only cost me twenty cents, and you'll come into the park? Brilliant! I would like to get a river rapid kind of ride. It costs another three thousand bucks, plus a little bit more for the terrain, but, uh... You know, if we could do that, that would be quite nice. Another good way to get a lot of attractions. The more roller coasters you have, the better, but again, they are a little on the pricey side. What kind of we get, by the way? We got a new version. The... Looping Roller Coaster. Ah! of which there are many different types available. Also, all are very cost prohibitive for me, except for Stingray, apparently. Wait, does this one just shoot out in the middle of the sky? No, this is one of those things where they drag you up, and then they just, like, launch you forward, and then you go around the loop, and then you go up, and then you come back down and go, do it all backwards. That's kind of cool. That would actually be a really good ride to add into the game. Yeah. Yeah, we might want to do that. Now if I... Whoop. Hang on. Now, if I wanted to get rid of scenery, I think that does make it a little bit cheaper, right? Uh, yeah, but not by much. It depends a lot on the in particular ride. What's turbine? This appears to be the same sort of thing. It's a Six Flags thing. Uh huh. If we get rid of the uh, get rid of the scenery, though, it becomes very cheap. Huh? What are the odds I could afford something like this? Whoa! Hello. Interesting. We could actually barely afford it right now as is. If I can stash up a bit more money, that could be an option for us. Maybe it's not worth placing Turbine, even without all the scenery. Excitement rating of 5 is just kind of meh. I'm looking for something really exciting, you know? Like, there's one. Glowworm. $14,000, but by God, does it get people excited. That's actually a great roller coaster. 6.2 is acceptable. 6.9, that's pretty good. Information kiosks. Finally! We'll be able to sell people some umbrellas. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Now everyone's going to go buy something. Uh, maps. Yeah, maps are 60 cents. Why am I even selling people maps? I don't know. You think that should be free. Yeah, everyone's buying umbrellas. Well, fantastic. This information kiosk is gonna pay for itself faster than anything else. Amazing. Who would have thought? Now, if I recall correctly, one really sneaky and nasty thing you could do is if you wanted to go and find, like, a sign here, right? Like, something like this. You could place a sign and then say no entry, and people aren't allowed to cross past it if it says no entry. It's supposed to be, like, for staff only. So what we can do is actually make sure that no one is allowed to leave your park. Now, by doing so, your park rating will go down because people want to go home and they can't, so it tends to upset everybody. And that's kind of a necessary uh, part of the win condition. But still... Ah, oh, free drinks are done. Sorry, guys. No more free drinks. But by all means, keep coming into the park. Hi, guys. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Should attach a little asterisk to that. Don't hold me to my word. You might be disappointed. And if that's the case, well, no refunds. There's something really satisfying about the new green glow kind of effects when people buy something. That's a new effect, and it's slick, and I like it. 
I really need to give people something else to do, though. We've only had these four rides. A merry-go-round would be a thing. It's cheap, but meh. Thrill rides, river rapids would be fantastic. Bumper boats, water rides, log flume would be pretty fun. Any log flumes that we like? That costs 5,000 buckaroonies. Can't afford that. Too bad. Um, let's see. So river rapids count as water and thrill rides. River rapids are actually really fun. Uh, there is one in uh, Disney World, Animal Kingdom. That's pretty cool. Cali River Rapids, if I recall correctly. Most of my theme park experience has been Disney, by the way. I haven't really gone to, like, Six Flags and stuff. Everyone, buy umbrellas! It's raining! I should start raking in a ton of money from umbrellas now. Hooray! You can build your own custom designs, in case you were wondering. Yes, if I wanted to, I could build a roller coaster or a river rapid from scratch. Also, that is terrible. This just broke down. Okay. Uh, where is my mechanic? Responding. Okay, hang on. Uh, fix rides, blah, 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 blah. How do I pick you up? There's a way. Pick him up. Send here. Aha! Wait, where are you going? No, turn around. Answer your radio. The thing that you were just doing before the giant tweezers of death came and picked you up? Yes. There we go. No, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, the mine tour! I'm thinking of the wrong ride! Aha! Okay, place. Well, at least it wasn't the roller coaster. That was kind of more important. Answer your radio, you dummy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get back. Turn around. Uh-huh. I know you hear me. I'm watching you through the cameras. Where are you going? Do they have to go through the exit? They actually may have to go through the exit. All right, we'll do that. We are selling so many umbrellas. I should start my own umbrella company. This is amazing. Thank you, Rain! Well, I'll be danged, there's a speed-up option. Look at this go! Oh! This is something the game was absolutely missing before! Holy crud! Everything goes so fast now! You can blitz through these scenarios! This is amazing! Alright, open the floodgates and go! Everyone, get on the new ride! Also, give me more monies! You know, one of the things that absolutely blows my mind here is I'm listening to some of the sound effects of the audience. You know, the dad going, hey, and the little child going, you know, like, ha ha, way, ha 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 These sounds. I recognize these. These are, these are just triggering all the neurons in my brain. I recognize all of this. That's just creepy. You know, I mean, not creepy, but it's a little bit weird, right? Your brain retains such totally trivial and non-important information for... 12 years? 15 years? It's a lot. Man, that's cool. So all we needed was a park rating of 600. We have 850 right now. If I can find a way to get at least a couple hundred more guests in here, then we win this scenario. Also, we're a tidy park, apparently. That's cool. I mean, seriously, we're almost at 600 guests right now. We needed, what was it, 800 in order to win? Yeah, 800 by October of year 3. It is September of year 1, and we're already almost there. That's easy. Let's speed up. Look at them go! Woo! Guests are complaining about the amount of litter in my park after I win the tidiest park award. Somebody has lied to me and has been telling me things I want to hear. Let's get another handyman. And you know what? While we're at it, let's hire another mechanic because we're starting to get enough rides. I do not want to risk any of them falling apart. But that should be pretty good. Now, I can't remember. Can you go to the... Can you go to these guys and actually train them? I'm not worried about mowing grass. Fortunately, this is just a giant dirt park. Um, no, this is not one of the games where I think you can train your people to make them better. Used to be able to do that, or maybe in a different version you're able to do that, but not, not in the first game. That's fine. Less complexity for me to worry about. This is absolutely amazing. Where has this feature been all my life? I love it. I like how everyone else is running really fast, though, but the people on the benches have apparently been sitting here for months. Months, I tell you! Friggin' finish your fries already and get off! I'm not even really doing anything, and the number of guests in the park still keeps climbing, and once we get to 800, I think we just straight up win. Uh, easiest thing to do, honestly, might be worth just spending some money doing a full advertising campaign for the entire park for the rest of the month. It'll cost a chunk of money, but if it brings a lot more people into the park, we win. We also could just reduce our admissions cost, which would get a lot more people in as well. Uh, it's not as much money, but if it makes you win the game, is that such a bad thing? Probably not. Yeah, case in point, now that we're only charging $20, look at the number of guests just keep going up. Up and up and up and up and up. It's great. 
As long as we keep our park rating high, which appears to be going down partly because of rain and partly because something broke uh, apart, uh, we'll be fine. Look at all the umbrellas, though! Man, we've sold so many. My advertising campaign is already done. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why is the rating still going down? Hang on. Something's happening, and I'm not paying attention to it. What's, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Guests? Thoughts? It's too crowded here. It's too crowded here. Oh, okay. Well, I seem to have found the problem. Um, if we had spread some rides out a bit more so that people had more places to go, that would solve a lot of the issues. Um, I guess we can kind of break up the paths so that people walk different directions. It's a pretty cheap way of trying to help fix the issue for now. Uh, and fortunately, if we want to join these paths up, for example, it does give you some information about where the uh, pathing actually is, like what height you're going to need. So in this case, 10. So if I want to raise it up a couple times, boom, and that's 10. We'll just go over here, and then we'll turn over this way, and then we'll join them up, boom. Now we're creating another path for people to walk on, which hopefully will uh, alleviate the crowded situation. Also, it's becoming kind of filthy. We need more handymen. I see vomit and litter everywhere, and it does not please me. Honestly, the other thing that we could do is probably place another ride somewhere further away in the park to encourage people to walk far away from the main walkways, which is kind of where all the food is located right now. So for $5,000, can we place something? Um, yeah, we could place that looping coaster we wanted to talk about before. How about Stingray? Stingray looks kind of fun. Uh, we would have to probably rotate you, place you kind of like up over here, maybe? $5,035. Uh, terrain is not especially forgiving, is it? 5,090. 4,000. There we go. That we can afford. Place. We definitely have lost a lot of guests all of a sudden because our rating went down. Kind of important to note how uh, that does change things. And yeah, I can see what they mean by things being really uh, crowded. It definitely is. So yeah, if I can just get a little bit more money for some pathing, we'll fix that. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. All right, new roller coaster. This should attract some people. Come on in. Go on to Stingray. It's going to be amazing. Let's speed this up a little bit. Look at him. So excited. So naive. Word to the wise, by the way. Never ride a roller coaster in a park operating at a loss. You don't know where they're cutting their corners. Man, I just am not making a lot of money right now. But the rating has gone up again, which is good. 887. All right, we start, should start seeing a whole load of new guests coming in. Corkscrew roller coasters, those are some of my personal favorites in this game. You know one of the weird ironies about this? Uh, I have a phobia of roller coasters. I really, really don't like them. I had a traumatic experience as a child. This is the closest I ever have been really able to get to them. Um, not because I'll get sick, just like an actual irrational, irrational fear. I have extreme anxiety getting onto a roller coaster. I don't know, man. I blame my dad. My dad took me on the, uh, I think it's called the Giant Dipper on the California Boardwalk when I was like seven and failed to warn me that it goes into a dark tunnel at the very beginning. So I got immediately traumatized and then it's the oldest wooden roller coaster on the West Coast or something like that. Rain! Excellent, we're gonna sell a whole load of new umbrellas. Let's change the color real quick. How about a nice uh, green? There we go. Green umbrellas for everybody. We're about to get to 800 guests though. Come on, couple more, couple more. There we go, 800. Have I won or not? Oh, this is going to be one of those old tycoon games that doesn't know how to recognize that you won early. So it makes you play all the way to the end, kind of like some of the Zoo Tycoon scenarios did. Fun. You know how much I like that. Let's get some balloons. And we're open for business. People like balloons, right? Usually, though maybe not in the rain. Dear God, it really is outrageously crowded here, though, isn't it? I am so sorry. <laughs> I wish this game was a little bit more effective as far as how you can place people and stuff. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, I see a balloon. I can pop the balloon. Pew! Ha 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 ha. You can actually do that at people carrying balloons, too, if you want to be really mean. Like this guy right here. Wait, no. I want to click on the balloon. No, wait. Did they take this feature out? I can't click on balloons and pop them anymore? Ah, That sucks. You used to be able to scare them and make them sad. Guests are complaining about vandalism in the park. Vandalism is really annoying because sometimes you have to go around it like there's right there, for example, a broken bench. Now we have to actually find the darn things, delete them and replace them. It's really irritating. I wish people would stop it. 
But all right. Come on. Right click. There we go. It's gone. There we go. Fix some of the vandalism. Oh, stupid kids. Let's hire another security guard. There we go. I've placed another roller coaster pretty far away from everything, with big, long paths to get to them, which means that people have to walk a lot more in the park. So in theory, that will resolve a lot of the crowded issues that we're having right now. Actually, as things look right now, it doesn't seem all that bad. Cool. You know, we actually can start reducing our loan, and that would be a good way to save ourselves a little bit of money on loan interest. It's something, at least. Interestingly enough, in this game, it doesn't seem like you ever make progress on the principal. You're only ever paying off the interest. Kind of weird. More freaking vandalism? Good lord! What kind of people live in this community? Well, the good news is, without any marketing, we are already at about 900 guests with plenty of rating. All we have to do is wait until the end of October, and this mission will be done. What a fun game. This still stands up, I think. I'm actually kind of amazed. Yeah, the graphics are a little outdated and stuff. Oh, gotta change the color again because it's about to start raining. Let's change to a teal or something like that. Yeah, this game is the graphics are a little old. Yes, the mechanics are rather simplistic, and certainly there are some more modern games that are still quite good. Alas, the Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, franchise itself appears to be about dead, but Planet Coaster is really quite good, and this is still really fun. It, it scratches that itch that I have for a good tycoon game like this. I'm actually really amazed at how much I'm still enjoying this. Cool beans, guys. All right, let's just wait until the end of October, and we've got it. You know, one of the things that's really interesting is that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 looks very similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Basically the same game with a little bit better graphics and a few new rides and stuff. But then you get to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and it's like, boom! Completely separate game! There we go, Millennium Mines is done. Everyone, let's go of their balloons so they can start applauding me. And now I can just spend the next 20 minutes just popping all the balloons before they go high into the atmosphere. This one really doesn't want to pop. There we go. Wee! Pew! Pew! It's like, it's like popping pimples. Or, or the, uh, or the, uh, little bubble wraps. Yeah. Well, guys, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic is still quite fun. I'm glad I showed you guys this one, because I actually might play some of this in my own spare time, because Blast from the Past or not, that was a pleasurable experience. Dang close to a perfect game, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what one of your favorite games was as a kid. Was this one of them? Because it sure as heck was one of mine. And, of course, subscribe if you have not already. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.